Last year, 140 newspapers across the country closed. Uh, not just little newspapers, big newspapers in Seattle, in Tucson, in Albuquerque, in Denver, in Ann Arbor, Michigan, a college town. Uh, newspapers across the country closing. And the worst thing is uh, that the closures are probably not as scary as the ones that remain open. Uh, <laughs> last year, the newspapers that remained open, in fact, in la over the last two years, they have laid off 1,000 journalists and r newspaper reporters, newspaper workers, 1,000 newspaper employees a month. Every month, one month after another, 1,000 or more laid off. Over the last two years, 30,000 newspaper employees in America have lost their jobs. With them have gone Washington bureaus, state house bureaus, international coverage. The stats are all in the book. You know most of them. They blow your mind, though, when you put it all together. We have a collapse of journalism as we've known it. So the question is, is the internet filling the void? Because that's, I mean, obviously, we get told that. Well, you know, it's OK. Just sit back, let it happen, because something new is coming. Well, we've got a new study from the Pew Center out of Baltimore, studying one city and doing it the way it should be. Don't have this debate about who's covering Washington. Have this debate about what's happening at local news, the news closest to people, and the news that's actually m most difficult to generate, because you have to really go out and report it. Uh, they went, Pew Center went to Baltimore. They studied across the board the news ecology of the town, newspaper, television, radio blogs, online news, even Twitter feeds from the police department. Every way that people could get original news. They said, well, OK, what's happening? How are people getting news today? Well, the first thing they found was, in looking back historically, that the Baltimore Sun, the great daily newspaper in the town, was still the primary provider of original news, same as in the past. But it was providing 33% less news today than 10 years ago, 73% less than 20 years ago, <clears throat> a 73% drop it's production of original news stories. Say, so, OK, there's a void opening there. Layoffs, cutbacks, David Simon talks about it. It's a very serious problem. Baltimore Sun declining in its coverage. So OK, how, how's the internet doing? How's this digital world, how's new media doing in filling the void? Well, Pew gives us the number. 96% of original news stories that they studied, and they really did look at all the online stuff, 96% still produced by old media, newspaper, radio, television. 4% coming from new media. New media not filling the void. 